I supposed to record a little bit with some stuff because uh, my good friend Senior Daniel Knapp is uh, wanting to do some multimedia stuff on the CD. So I'm supposed to. Supposed to share a little bit of the screw thing with you, which actually had some uh, bad stuff happen in the studio last night. So we had some water damage here. Ah, careful the carpet's up and there's nails on the ground. Anyway, this is the studio right now. Can you see that? Carpet's up, fans busting. See the problem here was. This toilet, for some reason, my kid didn't, kids, one of them, probably, probably River, didn't flush it, ah, no nails, didn't flush it all the way, <clears throat> so, uh, or something, I don't know, anyway, it overflowed, that's pretty much every towel and blanket we have in the house, and so we uh, tried to sop up what we could, and then homeboy carpet man said that the best thing to do would be to prop up the carpet, and do all that stuff. So anyway, here's the studio. Got a couple different guitars. Use a couple keyboards. Just a box full of master tapes. Whatever. Just left my studio. Had a fairly large recording studio. Did really well, but uh, I didn't have time to make my own music anymore, so I closed it down. Opened up what I need at home. It's just you can't see anything, but couple computers, some cool software, some cool plugins, some cool mic pre, still got a tape machine. So I can convert all my old school stuff to the hard drive. Got my oh so interesting vocal booth slash guitar cabinet booth slash whatever we need to use it for. Isolation booth. Still have no air conditioning in here, so it's kind of hot. I guess that new fan I got to dry out my carpet will work in here. And uh, so, anyway. So, so this is the studio. Uh, magic happens, magic happens. It all starts on the keyboard, then just some guitar, then the computer. I need a cameraman. Anyway, whatever. And, you know, stuff. And then later on, today, I'm supposed to go lay down some drum tracks, some real drum tracks to go on top of my sequence drum tracks for my drum loops for my record. So. This is the PA. I will have no help carrying up to my extra room so I can hear what I'm doing. And then of course I'll have to resort to headphones. So, you know, I, I write a lot of stuff on the couch right here. I watch a lot of behind the music type stuff. MTV always. There's some of the, the sound insulation stuff that I had to take out of the room because it was flooded. See if I can find my kit. They're always leaving the bathroom light on. full of scooters. My kids usually hang out way down there. In fact, is that my boy? Yeah, I know. No, that's not my boy. Anyway. Living a little suburban Tim Burton style. Whatever white picket fence neighborhood, which is kinda of funny. My next door neighbors are actually both police officers, which is even 
funnier. I kind of got I'm trying to do the white picket fence thing so I don't fit into the classical rock and roll trash house. Some flowers grow, some don't. I mean, hide from this car so I don't see me videotaping because it's kind of embarrassing. Those flowers won't grow. These plants won't grow. And it's so friggin' hot here that my water evaporates out of the fountain too quick, so I don't really use that a lot. I have a little garage. Oh, my cell phone's on there. There. We'll edit that part out. Show you my little drum room that I will be working magic in tonight. my daughter's room, her name is Skye. Of course she's already rocking the piano. That's a good thing. She's actually a decent drummer. Oh look, she's got a little bongo thing going on. Or is that a conga? I don't know, it's cheap. She's a mess. You know, typical. My little boy. Plays drums mostly. Thinks with the kid keyboard. Mostly listens to music still. He's only four, so, you know, let's see what homeboy's rocking in there. Little uh, player here. Filter. That's my boy. His favorite song is, uh, I don't know, track six, whatever that single was. He calls it the airplane song. <clears throat> here, well, this wall obviously is where I do my drums for extra paint and junk. I guess this would be a junk room kid leftover room, which you'd think they'd have enough room, they got their own freaking bathroom, which is pretty clean. It's pretty clean for a kid bathroom. And then, you know, this little room up here is theirs. Their little living room where they got their little PlayStation action, movies, and CDs, and I don't know the square footage of this room, but you'd think it'd be enough, but it's not. There's toys all over the freaking house. <laughs> 